President Uhuru Kenyatta has led the nation in mourning the death of Tanzania's President John Pombe Magufuli, who died last evening. The announcement of the late President Magufuli's death by Tanzania's Vice President Samia Suluhu came days, of, came days after speculation about the President's health after he went missing from the public limelight. Metropole TV's news editor Ken Aseka has the full report. Kenyans will for the next seven days observe national mourning in honor of Tanzania's late president John Pombe Magufuli who died yesterday evening. President Magufuli died last evening in a Dar es Salaam hospital. In a televised address, Vice President of Tanzania, Samia Soluhu Hassan, announced that President Magufuli died from heart complications. <laughs> katika taasisi ya moyo ya Jakaya Kikwete kwa tatizo la mfumo wa umeme tatizo la moyo la mfumo wa umeme ambalo kitaalamu linajulikana kama chronic atrial fibrillation ambalo halikuwa nalo kwa zaidi ya miaka kumi. The vice president also announced 14 days of national mourning and that flags will fly at half-mast. President Magufuli was 60 years of age. Prior to his demise, Magufuli had not been seen in public for almost two weeks. As speculations about his health swirled, with government officials maintaining that he was healthy and busy at work. Magufuli had also been criticized for his handling of the coronavirus pandemic. He downplayed the virus, calling for prayers and advocating for herbal-infused steam therapy to counter the virus. Since April last year, Tanzania has not been reporting cases of infections and deaths, with minimal or no testing at all reported in most parts of the East African nation. Magufuli declared Tanzania a COVID-free nation last June. Born in Chato, northwest Tanzania, in 1959, Magufuli studied chemistry and mathematics at the University of Dar es Salaam. He worked as a teacher before being first elected as a member of parliament in 1995. Magufuli became a cabinet minister in 2000 and was elected president in 2015. Magufuli was re-elected for a second term last year in an election that the country's opposition contested as having been rigged. But following his demise, Vice President Samia Suluhu Hassan will be sworn in as Tanzania's sixth president to serve the remainder of the late President Magufuli's five-year term, as stipulated by Tanzania's constitution. Kenaseka, Metropole TV.